This tutorial video will demonstrate how to merge objects using union, combine, fragment, intersect, and subtract in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you're new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, let's draw a square for the background. We draw from the top left to the bottom right. And then we make sure that the height and width are of the same size. So that this four-sided polygon will be a square. Next, we will draw two triangles with different colors. We tilt the first triangle 90 degrees clockwise and then we duplicate it, then rotate the second triangle 180 degrees so that the two will be meeting each other. Then we will draw the edges with a brighter color than the two triangles with dark ones. After we have drawn all the edges, let's group these elements together. We copied the yellow edge on the second slide so that we have a guide on where we will cut in this diamond. Let us now create 16 sections for the diamond to, to be divided into these lines. We use the principle of copy and paste to draw more lines easily. To make things furthermore easier, let us separate the components by color. And then we duplicate the slide containing the edges eight times so that each of these slides will have different sections that are being divided for these edges. We will intersect the sides of a diamond with a horizontal rectangle. We'll do the same for the succeeding ones so that the edges will be diagonally fragmented. For the edge most part of the diamond, we will subtract the diamond with a horizontal rectangle so that only the tipmost would be left 
for that particular slide. Once we have fragmented them, let's compile all these divided edges into one slide. We will now join the edges together. We have now unionized the tip of the diamond with the rest of the fragmented edges. We duplicate the half to form a whole edge. We'll now duplicate the half side of a diamond so that we can also apply the same principle of fragmenting it. We will now join the divided sections of a diamond half together. We duplicate this diamond quarter to create a half. And then we duplicate this diamond half to form one hole, having two different colors for both halves. We will now set the morph time to one second. We will now fold the diamond horizontally in half for the next slide. With these horizontal fragments on one diamond half, we will fold it furthermore by half of an inch. As you fold it by every slide, you will invert the fragment and then interchange the colors of red and blue so that the diamond will look folded.
let's continue to apply this principle of folding for the succeeding eight slides. We've just divided the diagonal half of a diamond into nine parts. We'll fold the diamond again by fragmenting the topmost and then inverting it to 180 degrees and then interchanging the blue and red positions. We folded it for a third time. Let us fold it again by half of an inch. And then the diamond is gradually getting smaller. On the flip side, we will remove those yellow edges since only the front side of the diamond contains them. The ones at the back have no yellow edges. We have just folded the half diamond for a fifth time. And we fragmented the higher parts. The principle here is bringing them back over the other. I mean behind each other. We've just performed a sixth half inch fold. We keep folding this diamond until it becomes like a band where the height is only half of an inch. We folded it again for a seventh time. As you can see here, we apply the principle of bringing the elements behind each other so that it will look like a folded thing. The final output here will be a band containing diagonal bright stripes with dark background colors. We slice these objects into half vertically so that we can fold it in a different way. We have just dismantled the object into its components so that we can prepare to fold them in another way. We duplicate a slide so that the original position won't be destroyed. It will just progress in folding slide after slide by the second. This time 
we, we will draw a very thin rectangle so that we can divide the band into two halves. This very thin rectangle looks like a vertical line. Let us now fragment the combined diagonal stripes into two parts. We will now be dividing the band into half. Then as we fold it in a different manner, we will interchange the blue and red lines once again because you're featuring the other side of the diamond. We will now set the morph time for all slides to one second. And then we will now preview the slideshow. Just look at how impressive morphing is combined with the principles of merging objects through union, combine, and fragment. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial video about merging objects.